traveling to and from the U.S. Virgin Islands is now considerably easier as the USVI travel portal has been discontinued. It was required under the administration's executive order aimed at curbing the spread of COVID-19, but many people found it somewhat frustrating. So effective June 1st, the executive order has been amended. The requirement for the USVI travel screening portal for all domestic travel to and from the U.S. mainland has been removed. So the territory has transitioned to the open door phase of its response to COVID-19. Although the travel portal requirement will be a thing of the past, the state of emergency remains in effect. We believe it has been a very effective tool in serving our purpose. In fact, it was one of the main ingredients in the fantastic uh, response to COVID organized by the, the team. But we need to move forward. Uh, it's at a point now, especially with all the vaccines and all the boosters, all the treatments, the monoclonal uh, treatments that we have, all those things help us to assist in making uh, the best decisions and giving the best resources to our people. I think we've gotten to a point now where we can manage and protect our loved ones and those in our community. Something to bear in mind, although the USVI travel portal is discontinued, the federal government is still requiring a negative COVID-19 test within 24 to 48 hours of travel.